So for this project, you will need a picture frame, a crochet hook, some yarn, and a glue gun and a little scissors, a little pair of scissors. <laughs> and that is all. Now, the fun thing about this project is that you can get any size picture frame you want. This one, I believe is a five by seven and I picked it up at the Dollar Tree. So yeah, you can get any size you want or just grab a picture frame that you have around your house. So any size, any color, can be made out of plastic, wood, whatever you want. And same with the yarn and the crochet hook. So depending on the size yarn you use, you can really get a different look from this project. So you could use a medium weight yarn and have a nice cute little skinny chain, or you can use like me, a bulky yarn to get a thicker chain. So for me, I am using a size six super bulky and i'm using a size n hook it's a nine millimeter so you will just want to choose whatever yarn you have or whatever yarn looks pretty to you at the store and then you'll probably just want to look and see um, what size hook you need for that yarn now mine says it needs an m and i do not have an m so i'm using an n <laughs> So just a little tip there. You usually can go, you know, a size up or down, but that is only because of this particular project it doesn't need a um, specific gauge. Like it's, it's just a chain. So of course, if you were making a sweater or something, you would want to make sure that you're using the hook that matches your gauge, you know, but anywho. Okay. So we are going to start with making a little slip knot. And so we're just going to wrap our yarn around and under my yarn is all wrinkly because this is kind of a new spool and this yarn was all mashed up in the center of my new spool of yarn. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna show you that little slip knot again. So you loop your yarn down and up and then under that loop, you make what looks like a little pretzel. My pretzel is just really wrinkly, but okay. And then you scoop your hook under and lift up, up, up to give yourself a little slip knot. Now, the number of chains, again, depends on the size of your frame and also the size of your yarn because, of course, like 10 chains in this big chunky yarn will take up a larger amount of space than 10 chains of a small yarn. So this project is very um, dependent upon the materials that you choose to use. So that's what makes it so fun. I think that you guys are gonna have so much fun experimenting with different yarns and different frames and all of that. So to start our chain though, we're going to wrap the yarn back and up and over our hook and pull it on through. There's one chain for me and just continue that on. Now I like to give myself a good little length of yarn or of, ch of chain rather before I start gluing of course so and I can kind of you know once the chain gets kind of long I can kind of hold it up to my frame and see about like how much longer I need to go but you'll just want to chain and chain so I once took my boys to a birthday party and it was for a little boy and his mom is one of my friends and she is a photographer. And as a party favor, she put a little picture of her son along with the party guest. So for us, it was my son. It was a picture of her son and my son together. And she put it in a little picture frame and that was the party favor that my son got to take home. And I thought that was just the cutest idea ever. And I was thinking that um, this would be such a kind of a cool thing to do with that because then you could customize the frame as well. But wouldn't this be a sweet gift to give a little crochet frame with a picture of you and one of your friends in there? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going around and round. I'm about halfway already because this chunky yarn 
is really like it moves fast <laughs> you know <laughs> like just a couple of chains it takes you pretty far so again depending on the size of yarn that you are using you may need to make more or less chains so you can make these in colors to match your home or you can make them as gifts or party favors or just about anything. Just about, these would, you could even do like little holiday things in here. Like uh, you can make these for Christmas and put like a little Christmas quote or something on the inside. Hmm. Okay, now I've got a bit of length on my chain, so I'm gonna test it again. And now when I start gluing, I like to start in a bottom corner, but you, you know, you really could start anywhere. You could start bottom center or whatever, but I do a bottom corner, so that's where I'm gonna start measuring. And I stretch just a little bit because when I glue, I'm going to be stretching out my chain just a tiny bit so that it lays really nice and flat. I just stretch in place just to kind of measure out how much more chain I need to make. Oh, and I'm getting really close. In fact, I might be to the end. Okay, now a little tip for you guys. You want to make the chain slightly, slightly larger if you can, okay? Um, because that way, when you get to the end and you've glued your whole thing down, you can always pull chains out. And I think that's easier than having to add chains. Put those back in there. Okay, so now that I think my chain is long enough, I'm going to pull just a little bit, but I'm not going to cut my yarn just in case. <laughs> I know it's long enough, but I don't know. I like to just, just really make sure. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little tug and then I'm gonna grab my glue gun over here and I'm gonna start laying down some glue. Now, your frame may have a different shape than mine. It may be rounded, flat, beveled, you never know. So mine has this one little edge here and then it drops down perfectly flat. And I would like my bead of glue to go kind of mm, like to just to the inside, like I guess a quarter of an inch up from my little edge here, but you'll wanna you know, take a look at your frame since it'll probably be different and just think about where you want your little bead of glue to go. So I'm just thinking about where I want that to go. Also, um, you know, well, it might even be nice if I center it, hmm. But I'm gonna put it closer to the edge here. So yep, I'm going about a quarter of an inch up from the little beveled edge. So I'm just going to run a little bead of glue just like that. And then I'm going to take my pretty little chain and just dab it right down into that little bead of glue. There we go. And now I'm going to be going up the other side. So I'm actually going to turn my little frame so it's easier for me to work here. And once again, I'm just gonna run a bead of glue about a quarter of an inch up from my little bevel there. And I think I need a new glue stick. There we go. Oh yes. And then I'm just gonna turn my little corner and bring my chain up this side of the frame. And then if my corner's not quite secured, I wanna just add another little bit of glue. There. just to make sure that those corners stay down really well. And then we're ready to move on to our next little side here. And about a quarter of an inch up, we'll add some more glue. Just 
Just like that. And once again, I'm going to secure my little corner down with just one little dot and just mash that down in there so it stays really well. <laughs> there we go. Now, if you wanted to, you probably could use like tacky glue or something like that, but I love how the glue gun immediately sticks it down and then it's like done as soon as it cools off. Like other glue, you know, you have to wait for it to dry and stuff. Okay, now this one, I'm measuring once again because this is my last side and you can see that even past the corner, I still have some extra chain left there, so that's good. And I'm not gonna pull it out yet. I'm gonna wait until I'm all glued. So I'm going along my last little edge and adding my little bead of glue here. And gluing down to this last little side. And then I'm gonna go back to make sure that this last corner is really glued down well. Like so. And then this very last corner over here, I'm going to make sure that it is all secured. So I think Okay, I think we're pretty good. So I'm going to cut to the end of my very, very like a beginning. So where I started, I'm going to chop that up. I think that looks all nice and secure there. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, and now I'm going to add, I'm going to kind of see, hmm. So I can definitely pull out stitches up to this point, I think. So I'm going to pull them out. And now this is my very last one. Okay, I'm going to cut my yarn finally. Okay, so this is my working yarn. I'm gonna cut it and pull out this last loop. So this would have been the loop that would have been on my crochet hook like this, like crocheting. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And now I'm gonna put a good bit of glue in this little corner and glue this down before I cut my end. So let's grab our glue gun one last time. Add that little dab of glue. So I'm basically gluing over the slip knot that we made when we very first started and into the corner. And bringing that very last stitch right on down there. And I'm gonna hold it for a minute. Be careful you don't burn yourself. I know they make those little silicone things to put on your fingers, I think, so you don't burn. <laughs> I never, I've never used them, <laughs> but they're probably very nice. <laughs> okay, and now, once it feels really good and secure, you can cut your end. And your little picture frame is all finished.